Hey there, YouTube. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I acquire, dispatch, and consist locomotives using the new DT602 throttle from Digitrax, as well as the UT6D throttle. I'm going to show you how to consist, acquire, and dispatch uh, using both those throttles because they do function a little bit differently and uh, show you some of the ways that I, I found that's easiest to do that. So we're going to get right into it. As you can see, it's got no information at the top of the screen. So what you'll do is you will take the cord that comes in the package, plug it into the bottom of the throttle, plug the other part into your local net, and it will acquire the duplex information so that whenever you unplug it, now we can see the name of the duplex system and the channel that it's operating on and the signal strength. On the new throttles, it doesn't matter which side of the throttle you're using. You can use left or right. You'll notice that our locomotives are in different orientations with one locomotive facing forward then a second locomotive facing in reverse, and the third locomotive facing forward. What we're going to do is we're going to start by acquiring the rear locomotive and confirming that its direction is facing in the forward. Then we're going to dispatch that. We're going to acquire the second locomotive and make sure that it is operating reverse. Then we're going to acquire the last locomotive and ensure that it's operating forward. This is going to set the direction of all of our locomotives to operate in the same direction. To do that, we start by pressing the locomotive key, typing in the address for the locomotive. In my case, I'm using the four digit cap number, 2627, and I'm gonna press the locomotive button again. You'll notice on the screen that the default orientation of this locomotive is in the forward direction. And if we operate that, we will see that it does move, in fact, forward. That's good. We want all of our locomotives to start out going the same direction. We're going to dispatch that locomotive now. We're going to press the locomotive key. We're going to press more and then dispatch. Now that locomotive does not operate anymore on the throttle. Move on to the next locomotive. Press the locomotive key. Type in the cab number. Six, four, zero. Locomotive key again. It turn green, you'll see that it is now wanting to operate in its forward direction. We don't want it to do that. We want to change the direction of the locomotive so it goes into reverse. We can do that either by double pressing the speed control knob or using the arrow direction button just under the throttle that we're using. By pressing that, we can see that the direction has changed to reverse and it will now operate in the same direction as our first, our rear locomotive. We will now dispatch that locomotive, local key, more, dispatch. Now that locomotive is no longer operating. We're going to operate the last locomotive by pressing the local key, typing in the decoder number, press the local key again, verify that it operates in the forward direction. Now the direction of all of our locomotives are currently set to operate in the same direction. While we still have this top locomotive on our throttle, <clears throat> we're going to press the local key. We're going to press the MU key. Then we're going to start typing in the numbers of the other locomotives. 2640, 2640. We're going to press MU plus. We're going to move on to the next locomotive. Type in its number, 2640. Two, seven, MU plus. And when we're all done with that, we're going to press the exit key. Now, all locomotives should operate with the top engine in the consist. And we're doing that on the left throttle. And as you can see, they all operate in the same direction. Now, let's say that we don't know 
what consist this locomotive is a part of. And we want to take it out of the consist and use it somewhere else on the layout. We're going to start out by pressing, we could probably dial that up on the other side of the throttle. We can move our knob to move the controls to that side. You'll see on the display it says right. We're going to press local key. We're going to type in its number, 2627, local key again. It's going to ask if you want to steal it. We want to steal it, so we're going to press yes. Then we're going to press the local key, MU, and there's our option for MU minus. We can take it out of the consist without ever dialing up the other consisted locomotives. MU minus. Now it will operate independent of the other two locomotives. Now I've already showed you how to consist using the DT602 throttle. Now I'm going to show you how to um, operate the locomotives using the UT6D throttle. We're going to start by pressing the power button to turn the throttle on. And you'll see that it doesn't have a network that it's acquired to. So we're going to plug that into the network using the supplied cable, same way that we did the 602 throttle. By plugging that in, you'll see down here at the bottom that it's acquired our network. So we can unplug that now. And we have us, the, uh, the, the network is acquired. We're going to start by pressing the local button and then typing in the cab number 8095 and then press the local button again. And then we can see that the toggle switch changes the direction indication on the front. That's how we change the direction on this throttle is the toggle th switch at the top. So that's just like the original UT4s. You can see that we're in the forward direction now, whenever I dial that up, reverse the direction, operates the locomotive. So to dispatch this locomotive, you press the local key, and then you press the menu key. And it brings up our menu at the bottom, and we can press the soft key here at the bottom that's underneath dispatch, and then now we no longer have control of our locomotive. So that's how you acquire and dispatch locomotives using this throttle. Now I'm going to get you into how to uh, consist using this throttle. Just like before, we will want to acquire each individual locomotive and set the direction to be the appropriate way. So we're going to go forward for our entire consist. So we're going to set that on the locomotive right here and verify that it does go forward. Okay. Now I'm going to dispatch that locomotive by pressing the local key, the menu key, and the dispatch key. We're going to go up here to the next locomotive, acquire it, by pressing the local key, typing in the number, local key again. We're going to make sure that it goes in the reverse direction, which now it does. And then we're going to dispatch that. Dispatch. And then we're going to go to our leader engine, Pressing the local key, the type in the number 8095, local key again, verify that it is also, oh, see, it's going backwards. So we're going to change the direction on that to forward. Oops. And we've got that set to forward. Now they all are facing in the forward direction. What we'll do next is we're going to consist the locomotives using the a utility throttle here, which is a new feature for this series of throttles. We're going to start by pressing the local key, and you're going to see down here it's giving you a help menu. It says menu for choices to select press address number, then the local key. That's how you would acquire. We're going to have menu choices, so we're going to press the menu, and we're going to press MU plus, and then it says right here to add to the consist, press the address number and then the F key, and then the local key. So what we'll do is we will type in 2640, 
and we're the F key. That locomotive is consistent now. We're going to go on to the next one. 20, 6, 27. Then we're going to press the F key again. And now that locomotive is consistent. And since we're done, we're going to press the local key. It reverts back to our top consist, which is set to the forward direction. And now when we go, all the locomotives move together. So that's how you consist using the utility throttle. It's a little bit different than the 602 throttle, but not by All right, something new that you're able to do with the new UT6 series throttles is you're able to operate remote control turnouts with them. So we're going to do that by pressing the S key, that's for switch, it takes us into the switch function. We're going to type in the number for this switch, which is switch number 23. And then by pressing the F button, that toggles it back and forth. By pressing the F, that continues to toggle the switch in whatever the opposite direction is. Whenever we're done throwing the switch, all we have to do is press the S button again to exit the switch menu. And lastly, we can also turn track power on and off using the utility throttles now. So to do that, we press the bottom of the power key where the arrow is, and it comes up with these options right down here. So nine would turn the track power on, eight would turn the track power off, and then when we're done, if we're done with the throttle completely, we can turn the power to the throttle off, so to save the batteries by pressing the power off for that. Now the throttle is turned off. All right, folks, thanks for tuning into this video. Uh, we had a lot of fun learning how to use these uh, in our group, and now that we have, everybody prefers the new throttles over the old throttles. The old throttles rarely even get used now. So if you haven't already picked you up one of these, the UT6D or the UT6, if you want the tether, um, is very comfortable in your hand and does all the functions that a big throttle does. The only difference is it has one knob instead of two. So if you're really only going to be operating one train at a time, the UT6 series throttles uh, would be the right choice. And if you think you might be running two trains at one time, or what comes with most sets today, is the uh, DT602. And you could also get this in a tethered version as well. Both of these throttles will operate with a tether if you're running on a layout that does not have a uh, duplex receiver. And with that, I also will add that these throttles do work best using the new Digitrax UR93 duplex module. Uh, we do have UR92s here at the layout. Uh, we did find they were not very happy connecting to the newer throttles. So we've got two different technologies here. We've got an older UR92 du duplex technology with newer duplex throttles, and we found they just didn't play nice together. I have read there are some firmware updates out there that you can do to the 92s to allow them to function better with uh, the newer throttles. Um, but uh, UR93 came in the mail to uh, uh, have us try that out, so we uh, put that on the lamp, and we've been very happy with that as well. So UR93 is the new duplex receiver that you'll want to have for your layout in place of the old UR92s. Of course, I'm only talking about duplex in this scenario. Uh, the original wireless throttles, the R-series throttles, uh, those are simplex throttles using the UR91 as the uh, receiver for that, has no effect on the newer system. So we're just talking about the duplex in this particular case. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll keep on pumping out some more videos in the future. So we'll see you next time.